In this video, we're briefly going to talk about partial derivatives. So say you have a function f of xy, and let's make it a simple one for the purposes of this video. Say it's x squared, y squared, plus x squared, plus y cubed. So what are partial derivatives? So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is written del f, del x. And it's the rate of change of your function with respect to x when y is fixed. Or you can think of it as the slope in the x direction, the rate of change in the x direction. Yeah, so this is the slope in the x direction. That's intuitively what it means. And then likewise, del f del y, this is the slope in the y direction. So when you're computing partial derivatives, you fix the other variables. So when you're computing this, uh, you fix y. When you're computing this, you fix x. In other words, the other variables are constants. So let me just show you really quickly. Let's find del f del x. It's really, really simple. So we're finding the partial derivative of f with respect to x. That's the slope or the rate of change in the x direction when y is fixed. So we're treating y as a constant. That means when we differentiate this, this is a constant. So this is gonna be zero because it's constant. So everything else is constant. So this is a constant, so it hangs out. So we just get two x and the y squared hangs out. It's a constant. This is 2x, and this is zero. I'm just gonna go ahead and put zero there for emphasis so you see that it actually is zero. I won't even bother to simplify it. Let's just go ahead and write del f del y. So now we're fixing all of the x's. So now x is constant, so this hangs out. So this derivative is just 2y. So we get 2x squared y. This derivative is gonna be zero because x is a constant. And this derivative here is 3y squared. And I won't even bother to simplify it, I'll just leave it like that. So when you're taking partial derivatives with respect to any variable, you treat all of the other variables as constants. So if we had a z here, its derivative would have been zero in both cases as well, because we never computed the partial with respect to z. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.